Okay, so to get started, navigate over to office.com, get logged in, then click on your app switcher or the waffle and look for ClipChamp. If you don't see it, go to more apps and browse for it there. You can also search for it up here at the top. All right, let's click into it. All right, so notice at the top to get started, you can either upload some existing video, you can create a screen recording, you can do a camera recording where you just turn on your webcam or the camera app and record yourself. Here we can create a playlist of videos. And then here we could just start with a video project from scratch. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with video project from scratch. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is name my project. So here's the name, video project one. I'll go ahead and click here to rename it. In this scenario, I'll be creating a video on my Florida State Report project. Okay, so I have some existing media. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Import Media. And I have my Florida State Report folder right here. You can see here I have several lovely images of Florida. I'll go ahead and select those and I'll click Open. All right, so there's my images pulled into the project over here on the left. Down here at the bottom, this is the timeline where we place our media to build out our video. See, it says drag and drop media here. So I can take these and I can drag and drop them onto the timeline. You'll notice when I add an image file, the duration will be extended for a total of four seconds, but I can adjust this. So I can bring this down to say two seconds and make that adjustment. Also, you'll notice that this photo doesn't quite fill the entire area of the video. So I can make it larger simply by dragging the corners. Now it fills the entire space. Now notice here it says, we predict these dimensions will work best for the media you imported. You can change them here at any time four by three. I actually want 16 by nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here and select 16 by nine widescreen. And so here you can see I need to actually expand this even further. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, some other things you can do is put some effects on your image. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. And then over here at the right, we have captions, we have fade, filters, effects, and adjust colors. I'm gonna check out effects. All right, so we have a variety of effects here. And so if I like any of these, I can go ahead and select the effect and you'll see how it's going to affect your image. Look at this, you can even adjust the intensity. I actually don't like any of those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select none. All right, so I'm gonna go back over here to my media and I'm gonna bring in the rest of these images. And again, I want them all to be about two seconds. So I'm gonna adjust those like that. Here you'll see my timeline is getting pretty long so I can drag to get to the end of the content here and drag this in. Also, you have your zoom in and out. So I can go ahead and zoom out. So this will show more content in this view. Okay, so I've added in all of my images. Another thing you can do is add text. And so we have all these styles over here on the left. I kind of like this one. So I'll go ahead and click add to timeline. And over to the far right, you can see where you are able to adjust the settings of your font. All right, to add your text, you wanna make sure to click and move your time slider over the text, and then you'll see the text here on your video preview. Make sure you're clicked on this item, and you'll be able to then double click in here and change the text. All right, and you can drag the corners to make this larger. You can also click and drag it to position it anywhere on the screen. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag this to the left so it starts at the very beginning. Let's watch it real quick. I'll do a playback here. 
Now notice it's hard to read that text because the color, there's not much contrast between the color of the font and the background. So I can change the color of my font here so it really pops more. There we go. That looks much better. I'll make it a little bit larger. Nice. All right, and so we can put multiple text callouts. For example, if we want a different text for each picture, we can go ahead and add those into our timeline. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and just have this extend through the entirety of these images. And let's go ahead and play this back. All right, that's nice. But notice this off to the right, you can have your text fade in and fade out. So I'm gonna go ahead and have this fade in half a second and fade out in half a second at the beginning and end. Let's take a look at that. I'll move the slider to the beginning. Nice. All right, really cool. Now, we also have effects. Let's take a look at these. These are motion effects, but also visual effects. Let's take a look at Disco, and we'll play that back. Oh, wow. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. It gives it a little bit more excitement. Okay, now we've got some images, we've got text. The other thing you can do down here is add music. That's right. So I'm gonna go over here to the left and click on music and sound effects. Here you can search for specific audio you'd like to find. I'm gonna search for something exciting. And then with the results you get, you can click play to play them back. I think I like this first one, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the timeline. And you'll notice it shows up down here at the very bottom. Now, notice this extends beyond my image files. So what I can do is we'll zoom this in, or zoom out, and we can bring it back to the end, or we can splice it. So if I move my timeline slider to the end here, I can go ahead and click on the scissors to split it. And then I can now move this or delete it by hitting the delete key. All right, now let's take a look at this. And you can see I need to adjust this in just a little bit. There we go. All right, let's take a look at this now. All right, I noticed here uh, some of these images do not fill the screen, so I could make those adjustments like I did the first image and make sure they're filling the entire screen so I don't have those black bars. All right, now those are all dialed in. Another thing that you can do here with your video project is you can find stock video clips to use and stock images. You can also add graphics. So if you wanna add graphics to overlay on top of your video, you can do that as well. We also have transitions, which we'll look at in a minute. Now up here is record and create. This is nice for when you want to make a quick recording of yourself or do a screen recording. I'm gonna click on record and create. And in this case, I'm gonna just record my screen because I have some slides from a presentation and I want to narrate those and include those in my video. So I'll go to screen, and it says here I need to select a screen to record. Notice up here my video camera's off, but my microphone is on, it says it's muted. And then we have our device settings. I'll go ahead and use my webcam microphone for this. All right, now I'm gonna select a screen to record. All right, in this case, I already have my PowerPoint open, 
So I'm gonna click entire screen. I don't need to share the system audio, so I'll keep that off and I'll click screen one and share. Okay, so I get the countdown there. Now I need to open up my PowerPoint and I'm gonna put it in slideshow mode from the beginning. Now notice here you have this little toolbar that shows that you're currently recording or sharing your screen. You can stop sharing here, but I wanna hide this so it's not part of my video. All right, here I go. Welcome everyone to my Florida State Report. My name is Dustin Henderson. All right, let me tell you a little bit about the history of Florida. Did you know that Florida became a state in 1854? Uh, whoops. Did you know that Florida became a state in 1845? Tourism, biomedical industries, aerospace, and defense. All right, so I'm done recording. I'm gonna go back here to the browser and I'm gonna click stop recording. Okay, so I get the countdown there. Now I need, here I get an opportunity to preview it. If I don't like it, I can retake the recording. Now I did make a mistake in it, but that's okay because I can edit that out in ClipChamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and save and edit instead of completely redoing it. Notice what happens here. It brought the video clip directly into my media folder on the left and it dropped it into my timeline right here. Let's go ahead and press play. Okay, so I get the countdown there. All right, what I'm gonna do is fast forward to the point where I begin actually presenting. So I'll just drag my timeline slider. All right, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and like we did earlier, I'm gonna select this video clip and I'm going to click on the scissors to cut it right there. And now I'm gonna click this piece in the front, delete it with the delete key, and we'll go ahead and move this with a little drag and drop. All right, now we'll play it from here. The Florida State Report. My name is Dustin Henderson. All right, let me tell you a little bit about the history of Florida. Did you know that Florida became a state in 1854? Uh, whoops. Okay, I made a mistake there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it there. Did you know that Florida... And... About the history of Florida. And we'll cut it there. So here we can cut a middle segment of this video clip and get it removed. And no one will know that I made that mistake. All right. Now let's take it towards the end because at the end I was kind of getting back to stopping the recording and that doesn't have to be in the video either. Space and defense. All right, we'll cut it right here. And we'll delete out that end piece. And boom shakalaka, our video is pretty much done. Let's watch it from the start. Oh, and I wanted to call something else out. This music sort of ends suddenly because we cut it off. So what you can do is fade out the music as well. So I'll select my music track. At the far right, I'll go to fade. And we'll fade it out for about a second and a half. Let's see how that sounds. Let's go ahead and play the whole video. everyone to my Florida State Report. My name is Dustin Henderson. All right, let me tell you a little bit about the history of Florida. Did you know that Florida...
became a state in 1845? That's right. And it's the 27th state of the United States. William G. Mosley was the first governor of Florida. Tourism, biomedical industries, aerospace, and defense. All right, pretty darn good. I'm happy with this. I'm ready though to go ahead and save this. So I'm going to click on export and process this into a video file. Notice here I can get 1080p high quality video. We've got the file name, we're saving to the cloud in my OneDrive and I can change the location if I want to but I'm gonna go ahead and click export. All right, notice here it says to keep this tab open for faster rendering. Over on the right, you're gonna see the preview of the progress of your video. You'll also see here the estimated time it will take to render the video. All right, the video has finished processing. It is now uploading to the cloud. You can see down here, we have the option to save it to the computer. Uh, we can open the file location. I could copy a link to share it with others. Here's a link to share with people only in Fresno Unified School District. And I can also publish it with Microsoft Stream. Let's go ahead and open the file location. That way we can see where exactly this gets saved on our OneDrive. All right, so it's in my files, videos one, ClipChamp, Florida State Report exports. And of course you can always find options in here to get the share links, to delete it, to download it, and make all these other adjustments. And we can play it here by opening the file. All right, and that is how you use ClipChamp in Microsoft 365.